What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and today is a very exciting day because an iOS 12.1.2 and below rootless jailbreak has been released. All right, so today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys everything that you need to know about this rootless jailbreak, what a rootless jailbreak is, should you do it, and the future of jailbreaking. So first off, what is a rootless jailbreak? So a rootless jailbreak basically allows you to install tweaks on your device, but it does not include Cydia. So using apps like FileZub uh, and SSHing into your device to basically get access into your device, you can install tweaks. So you basically have to download them and put them in the right spots and then install them that way. So it's not like Cydia where you just open the app, search for a tweak and install it like that. Again, this does not include Cydia, but still allows you to install some tweaks. Now with that being said, it is super Super, super annoying to install tweaks. We had a similar jailbreak in the past and it's just very annoying. And in the future, it will be a lot easier. We will have Cydia or maybe another tweak installer. So it's going to wait. I recommend they guys do not do this rootless jailbreak right now because again, it is super annoying to install tweaks. And because iOS 12, there hasn't been a jailbreak for it before. There are many tweaks that are not supported yet. So it's just going to trial through tweaks, going to test them to see if they work. Half of them won't even work. So yeah, guys, I do recommend that you wait as right now installing tweaks is a pain in the butt. Now the firmware that this supports is iOS 12 through iOS 12.1.2. Now the latest version of iOS is iOS 12.1.3, which the only version that's being signed. So iOS 12.1.2 and below is unfortunately no longer being signed. So this kind of pissed me off because I was just making a video on how to downgrade to iOS 12.1.2 until I realized that Apple did stop signing it. So you can no longer downgrade, which is unfortunate, but there is still good news. So over here on Ignition's Twitter, you guys can see that they posted this tweet right here. So they said, just a PSA, 12.1.3 is the lowest signed firmware. And if you care about jailbreaking, do not update under any circumstances. So if you guys are on iOS 12.1.3, do not update. Stay there because you guys will be seeing a jailbreak in the future. So again, guys, still good news. It's not all gloomy. If you are in the latest version being iOS 12.1.3, but I don't know if that even matters right now because again, this is only a rootless jailbreak. It does not include Cydia, so installing tweaks is really annoying. So by the time we do get Cydia for iOS 12, iOS 12.1.3 will probably also be jailbreakable by then. So if you are on iOS 12.1.3, stay there. And if you are on iOS 12.1.2, stay there too just any version of ios 12 do not update all right so i don't care which firmware you're on on ios 12 just do not update if you do want to jailbreak in the future we don't know how long it will be before ios 12.1.3 is able to be jailbroken so <laughs> just stay on whatever firmware you are on of iOS 12. So guys, great news here. Now, if you still do for some reason want to do this jailbreak right now and you are an expert and you want to install tweaks and you know how to do that, this is how you install this rootless jailbreak. So it's very simple. All you want to do is open up your internet browser, click on the link in the description. It'll bring you right here to Ignition's webpage. Tap on the second tab here at the bottom. And once you do it, go to jailbreaks over here. And you want to scroll down until you find a rootless jailbreak. And there it is close to the bottom. Let's go ahead and tap on it. It is by Jake James. Now the description is kind of odd because it says iOS slash web and tweak developer released a new rootless jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1 to iOS 11.2. Now this is actually the one for iOS 12 through 12.1.2. But for some reason, that's what it says. And good job on Jake James' part. He really created this and it's awesome. We are getting so close to a full jailbreak on iOS 12. But anyways, once you hit get, it will bring this up to install it. All you do is click on that, exit your home screen, and it will install it in literally like 0.5 seconds. And once you have it on your device, of course, you want to go to settings, general, Scroll down until you find profiles and device management and you want to go and tap on the profile and it will say trust for you right here. So go and tap on trust in blue and then tap on trust in the pop up. So once it is trusted, you should be able to open it up. And here's what the interface looks like. Really nice. Now, by default, iSuperSU is disabled. I'm not really sure what that does, but from my understanding, I might not be right. But from my understanding, it basically adds more SH ability. So... You could basically install tweaks from there. All right, so with iSpressU, you can use it to allow other apps to escape their sandbox, giving the app root privileges. So 
Uh, still confused on what it is, but it basically gives you like more root privileges from my understanding. So if you go back to this, all you gotta do is enable tweaks, hit jailbreak, and just wait. Now, of course, this jailbreak might not be perfect, and to ensure better success, you have to reboot your device to turn your device off and then turn it back on, and it might take two or three tries to get this working. It might crash a few times, but yeah, guys, again, I do not recommend doing this jailbreak right now. Just wait, be patient, so you can install jailbreak tweaks a lot easier, and also, if something does go wrong, you might have to restart your device and then update your device so you won't be able to jailbreak. But yeah, guys, this is great news for iOS jailbreaking is iOS 12. The full iOS 12 jailbreak is super close and that is just amazing. I can't believe it. We're gonna have a dark mode tweak. Oh my god, I... It's been so long since I had a, like, jailbreak on my device. But yeah, guys, if you're excited, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.